let us see if you can answer this question it says that a man sold two washing machines each at the price of 8640 on the first one he got a gain of 8% that is a profit of 8% whereas on the second there was a loss of 4% so can you find his loss or gain percent on the entire transaction let us look at this what we are given is that he sold two washing machines we are given the selling price of each which is 8640 8640 in this case also what we know is let us say that this is the first washing machine which he sold which is for a gain of 8% that is the profit is 8% on the second one there is a loss of 4% so we know the selling price we know the gain is 8% when we know the selling price and the profit percent we can find the cp which is the cost price so cost price can be found by this formula which is selling price into 100 upon 100 plus profit percent now i can substitute the values here and i would get selling price is 8640 and profit is 8% which is the gain percent or the profit percent this is what i get further this can be written as 8640 times 100 upon 108 this is what i get now solving it Twelve into nine. So I get cost price as eight thousand for this case. So I get cost price as eight thousand. Now let's look at the second washing machine. the selling price is 8640 and there's a loss of 4% now when i know the selling price and the loss percent again i can find the cost price the cost price in this case would be selling price into 100 upon 100 minus loss percent this is the formula to calculate cost price when you know the selling price and loss percent so now again substituting values selling price we know is 8640 we know the loss is 4% so this is what i get which can be written as 8640 times 100 divided by 100 minus 4 is 96 this is what i get 12 is a 96 and we get here 720 so i get 9000 here so cost price in this case is 9000 which is 9000 rupees now you can clearly see selling price was 8640 cost price is 8000 since selling price is more than the cost price we have a profit which is a gain in this case we have selling price is 8640 the cost price is 9000 since the cost price is greater than the selling price we have a loss here which is loss of 4% so now we want to find the total loss or gain percent that is what we want to find so for that we need to find the total cost price and the total selling price only then we can see whether he has gained or he has suffered a loss so we will find the total selling price first total selling price would be selling price of the first machine plus selling price of the second machine which is 8640 plus 8640 so this gives me 17280 adding these two i get 17280 Now let's find the total cost price. Total cost price is eight thousand. 
plus cost price here is 9000 so 8000 plus 9000 gives me 17000 so that becomes my total cost price now selling price is 17280 cost price is 17000 that is the selling price is greater than the cost price if sp is greater than cp then we say it's again SP is greater than CP, so we can say there is a gain or profit and that is equal to SP minus CP. SP is 17,280 minus cost price is 17,000. So this gives me 280 rupees of profit. So the profit is rupees 280. That is my profit now. I want to find the profit percentage, the loss of profit percentage. We have seen it's not a loss, it's a profit. So now we need to find the profit percentage. How do we find profit percentage? That is profit upon total CP. Profit percentage is always calculated for cost price over CP. So profit percentage is profit upon CP into 100. This is the profit percentage. We know that profit is 280, cost price is 17,000 in 200. This is what we get. So we get 28 by 17. So the profit percentage is 28 by 17 which is equal to 1 11 by 17 percent. In a mixed fraction, this is an improper fraction. I represent it as a mixed fraction. So profit percentage is this, which is 1 11 by 17 percent. 